home health care um, givers on the average are women, and you know we're in the the lower income bracket. I think a lot of times um, we're often forgotten. I'm Angus McDonald. I fifty three years old. I have cerebral palsy. What do you want for breakfast, Angus? Uh, we'll, we'll do. Uh, you want over easy, please, oh, yes. And I've lived in the Bozeman for 20 years. Long-term care workers in Montana allow people to stay in their homes and allow an opportunity to live their life, which already has a share of challenges, um, to the fullest. I hope I give my clients a sense of, of worth for themselves, um, like I said, they're they're not clients to me. They're they're more than clients. Um, I kind of look at them as friends. She makes a great deal of difference in my uh, life. Uh, not only does she get me up and feed me and do a lot of uh, thing uh, work in general, but she also uh, keeps me on my toes and gets me out among the masses. I've been on her and trust her with my entire existence. Yeah. So yeah. she's one of the greatest ones I've ever had. Oh, thank yeah. you, Angus. You're going to make me tear. <laughs> Got makeup on today. No yeah. tears. I enjoy spending time with Angus. He, uh, he makes me laugh <laughs> a lot. No. <laughs> we got an earpiece there. There we go. Is that good? Yes, that's uh, Thank you very People much. are healthier, um, both physically and mentally, when they're in their own home. They're able to be around their own stuff, um, be more independent. Um, um, Angus and the ability to stay and be in a home that in the back of my mind. Yeah. Uh, keeps him, especially with Anna's assistance and uh, I mean not work keeps him preserving what his home is and his dignity and it's also a win for the state because at the end of the day keeping people where they want to be in their homes um, also saves dollars. We got a 10 cent raise this year which came from the employer um, but we're basically we're stuck at ten dollars an hour right now. Because they got to think turnovers. Without her, I would not be able to live in this, my house. And I can tell you for a fact that if I had to live institutionally, I would quickly go down hell and probably not live too long because I like my own space, my own things, my two lovable cats. It's pretty physically demanding. Um, the time constraints can be difficult. Um, it, just trying to get things done and get things done safely. I, I think that we need to recognize the importance of the work that's being done and the savings. In order for me to be able to come to work to make sure that my clients are in a good situation, you know, I need to be able to put gas in my car, I need to be able to feed my family, I need to be able to make sure that, you know, everybody's needs are met, not only my clients, and without a decent living wage, none of that happens. It stops, it ceases to exist. To spend a time in someone else's shoes gives me a great deal, that much more respect for the home care workers and the people with whom they're working, their clients. Yeah, I, I just, I think it's time that we're not forgotten and we're acknowledged for the work that we do.